again, this is Joanna and you are watching my new channel Grand Piano Souvenir. If you haven't seen my first video where I'm talking about my new project and the perfect gift idea, here is the link. Today I'm going to talk about Chopin and coronavirus. Do they have anything in common? Well, before I answer this question, I will tell you about another pandemia, cholera. Cholera was already in Moscow in 1830 and it spread out to other European countries. There were hundreds of thousands of infected people in Berlin, Pest or Paris where the peak of the pandemia took place in 1832. Well, it seems that it wasn't the perfect idea to come to Paris at that time, but Chopin did it anyway. People started to panic. It wasn't clear how is this illness spreading and if it's contagious. There were speculations though, like, hey, perhaps it's because of the people who are migrating or it's because the travelers are bringing some infected goods to our country. Good guess, right? So what countries decided to do? Of course, they closed the border. People from Vienna started buying special prayers which were supposed to protect them against the illness. They stopped also eating fruits and vegetables. Total panic. And here we have Chopin coming to Paris. The border officers had special instructions what can't be brought to their country. For example, mummy. Okay, Chopin was safe because he wasn't bringing a mummy, obviously. Nevertheless, his belongings had to be checked. The officers found, for example, a silver mug filled with polished soil, a ribbon, or some compositions. For example, piano concerto in E minor. All of these things were classified as no value. Really? There were rumors that perhaps chlorine helps preventing from the illness, so some people had bought it before it became popular. That was a good move, because after a few weeks the price went ridiculously high. Does it remind you something? We know that Chopin was always weak and unhealthy, so how come was he able to survive it? When he arrived in Paris, he found a small and a very cold room. He had almost no money to heat it and also to buy some decent food. Perhaps because of this strict diet and being a hygiene enthusiast and of course because he was a pianist so he was constantly worried about, about his hands and he was washing them all the time which wasn't so common at that time, perhaps thanks to all of that, he survived. Or it was just a coincidence, we don't know. Chopin was hoping for a great career, but because of the pandemia, there was no chance for that. Like now, everything was closed, every performance, every concert was cancelled. Although, before the biggest strike of cholera in Paris, Chopin had a concert in, uh, in the Plato Salon. Unfortunately, the majority of aristocracy escaped from Paris, so actually no one important came to this concert. Do you know what was he playing there? For example, the variations of Usto for piano and orchestra. Today I'm going to play for you, not the whole variations, but um, just the theme and the last variation, Alla Polaka. I'm pretty sure that you can recognize the theme.
subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next videos where, for example, I'm going to perform the whole variations of the stool. When there seemed to be no bright future for Chopin, suddenly he was invited by Count and Countess Aponi to one of the most popular salons. The concert which they organized took place in the Hotel de Monaco, which was the Austrian embassy at that time. And fun fact, there is the Polish embassy now. The concert was a huge success. Chopin started being very popular after that. He had many concerts and many students. So does Chopin and coronavirus have something in common? Well, not directly, but his music can help you and your friends and family during these difficult times. Oh, and one more thing. Chopin was washing his hands and so should you. If you are looking for a great present, perhaps you would like to give someone the Chopin's Variations Opus 2 as a piano souvenir. If you have any questions, please write to me. Remember also about subscribing and sharing the video if you liked it. See you next time.